Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, and I hope to see you again. So Spain has a lot of amazing traditions that are beautiful and full of so much culture and history. Especially, there seems like in Spain, there's always some type of festival everywhere. When I was living in Spain, I would try to find festivals and just go to them. Spain has some really amazing festivals you can go to all year round. But once you start looking into a lot of them, you'll see some are very weird very crazy and some of them are quite morbid and quite disgusting so I'm gonna share with you some of the weirdest festivals I have seen and also have heard about with you so stay tuned if you want to see okay so the first festival I want to tell you guys about are the festivals that are actually illegal now they have been banned they don't currently go on anymore but it's still crazy that they actually did once go on not that long ago. Okay, so this festival was stopped in the year 2000, so about 16 years ago. La Poverosa in Zamora, they held this annual goat tossing festival. So they would go up to a 50-story church and throw goats out of the church. Luckily, they would catch the goats in these netted nets, but you can still imagine throwing a goat from a 50-foot story building to be caught in a net could probably still do a lot of damage to the animal. And those are for the lucky ones that actually fell into the nets. For the ones that didn't fall into the net and missed the net, you can imagine what happened is why it does not go on anymore is because animal rights activists stopped it in the year 2000. Okay, another great festival that has been banned since 2012 is the Belizean festival in the city of Puig. I think that's how you pronounce it. Is chucking dead rats at each other and other dead rodents in celebration of their saint puree. So in celebration of this saint, they just throw a bunch of dead rodents at each other for whatever reason. I don't know. When I asked a local what that was about, nobody could really give me a definite answer. But the festival does start off with piñatas and candy and other frozen rodents. So if you don't want to stay for the dead rat chucking, you can just have the candy and get into the piñatas. The next festival is not banned. This is a festival that still continues today. It is a festival called Pascamorras in Andalusia. It takes place every year on September 6th. I've never been to this festival, but what they do is they cover themselves with petroleum and oil and grease and they chuck eggs and paint at their intruders. <laughs> this takes place in the village of Batha and it's actually a reenactment of a medieval dispute between their neighbors Gaudi. Okay, this one is gonna absolutely blow your mind. This festival has dated back since the 1620s and it's still alive and well in the village of Castrillo de Murcio near Burgo. So what happens in this festival is grown men dress up in devil costumes and leap over newborn babies trying to rid them of their original sin. So I just imagine babies on the ground jump and men jumping over. This festival is called El Colacho and it doesn't have a specific date that happens every year. It's like a continuation, a continuing thing of when you want to rid your baby of original sin you stick them on the floor and grown men in devil costumes will jump over them. Okay, this next festival is very interesting and it's called Los Indios or in English the Indians. So what they do is palmeros will dress in all white and throw talcum powder at each other in the street. And they will do this on hours and hours on end and they just throw talcum powder at each other. And this type of festival is very popular in Spain where they like to throw stuff at each other. So, Los Indios refers to the Canarian migrants who fled for a better life to Latin America in the 1900s. And when they returned to La Palma, they were greeted very warmly by having talcum powder thrown at them. Talcum powder was a known disinfectant. They sprinkled a little bit of talcum powder on them to prevent the spread of disease. So this festival is definitely more positive and has a more positive memory. Okay, the next festival I'm going to tell you guys about is called Rapa de las Bestias. This is not Spanish, this is Galician. 
This festival takes place every year on July 9th in a Valencian city called Sabuquero. This 400 year old tradition sees that hundreds of wild horses are rounded up from the mountains and then herded into small arenas where their trims are made and they are branded. The last really weird and crazy festival and probably for me the most gross festival that is in Spain is East Day or known as Anzar Ancuna. Alright, my basque is not very good. So this is a annual festival that happens every year in September in Basque Country, a small fishing town of Laketo. The participants have to try to rip off the head of a dead goose in order to win the competition. The bird is suspended on a rope and they have to try to rip off the head over the town harbor. The hard part about this competition is they oil up the, the dead geese so it's harder for them to rip off the head and that is what makes it the competition. So young men in small fishing boats have to grab the goose and hold on and try to rip off his head whilst the dead body goes flying across on the rope all over the town harbor. That's all I have for today. Let me know in the comments if you've been to any of these festivals. And if you have been to another crazy festival, please put it down in the comment box. I'm really curious to know what other festivals are around in Spain that I did not mention that are crazy. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you want to hang out with me more on my channel, please subscribe. I'd also really appreciate it. Okay, until the next video. Bye-bye.